certain times, but depends on the kind of problems we are facing, especially schoolwork or your social life at home or personal or whatever. But unless that, it's good. My life is like really cool. You get to play cricket and so. Like, you know, you're in the community, you come together, you play cricket and so against our community. Go and play volleyball, get basketball, cricket, football, anything you just feel like playing, just go and play. Difficult, really difficult. Some persons don't like you. Some children my age will be liking gangs and so on. And things like that, really difficult. Yeah, well, the highest is four and five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're right, sexy from there, and then whatever qualification they get, they go tongue most. Most of them go tongue and farther it to um, CAP and so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. then most of them get some lead on to sixth form, the highest schools in town. Yeah. <laughs> well, life is very easy right now. I'm in secondary school. Some people pressure you in certain things, peer pressure on various other things. Well, it's very interesting sometimes. And I feel very kind of happy sometimes. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. It's challenging at times because it is a lot of peer pressure that go on right now. You know, sometimes persons may want you to go in their lead. As you progress to secondary school now, there's a lot of, there's a great challenge in peer pressure because you know they may have some students that is brought, that are brought up in good homes and they may have some students that are brought up in bad homes. And when you go in a class now, you find all sorts of children. To me, it's really fun because you have no, you have no problems, you have no struggles. But there are some people out there that uh, are actually facing troubles, and they need to talk about it because. Normally when you keep stuff that you're going through to yourself, you know, some people have a best friend or a sister or an aunt or an uncle that they can talk to. And um, some, people don't have that. some people don't have that, so they keep it to themselves and it actually results in a lot of things. And It could bundle up into a whole lot of hatred. Because it results in a, in a lot of low self-esteem mm -hmm. and um, that's why people are having suicidal thoughts, a lot of suicidal thoughts. Most of the things we like to do is go to the creeks and swim. Mm, going to the falls and swim. I don't really face no problem. Yeah, just happy. Yeah, just cool. Just cool running. The community needs to be more improved. Develop in terms of cleaning the drains and stuff like that. Sometimes garbage really need to be cleaned and sometimes the, the loud music you know, came from the neighbors. Our transportation very hard yeah you know to go to school sometimes the school boat don't work and you have tests and you don't get to do it. Well if I was the government ban all kids from the street in between school hours and make sure every child between the ages of three to 16 or something, once every right CXE is in school. Because we got enough schools and and teachers, I think we got enough teachers in this country and stuff. Among teenagers, you would say we have teenage pregnancy, um, like substance abuse or even drug, drug abuse. Yes. yes, you have to say fights, hunger, stress. And teenage pregnancy and other stuff. But it could stop though. Many dropouts, unemployment. Most of them go go off with these because that's the only thing to me available. And some of them, sometimes a vacancy, especially like how the new hospital opening. Challenges we have are uh, like dealing with uh, alcohol. You know, some some people, so especially young men. Like Chen was talking him. This most because, you know, if you import on the God talk, you name, that's how I feel. Yeah. I'd say that I'd try to at least study more hard, try to improve in my um, work, and just to get a good grade. Um, being a doctor. Being a doctor. And how do you think you could actually get to do that? Work hard. And what else? Read much. For um, peer pressure, 
Well, I would solve it by you could join youth groups, youth fellowship groups to get like advice and build your self-esteem and your confidence so that you can know what's right from wrong and do what you do, you know, instead of following your peers. Try, you know, when you see people going in bad ways, you know, try to talk to them, make friends and try to do something that is productive to cut up in your time. Well, I would like to see more um, sports places, more businesses, especially just to entertain and spend leisure time, like open an internet cafe or something, something that you could have fun and enjoy when you're doing nothing. People should be involved in um, youth groups to help um, socialize and, you know what I mean, interact and know each other more, you know what I mean? If they can't deal with it themselves, they could go to an older person and ask for their help and like listen ask for advice and listen to the person not indulge yourself in drugs and other sexual actions and i think that they should study to get like a good job or be a good person in society to see young people better in themselves in terms of education and growing up to be, you know, a standard and respectable person.